What's up guys, Toned Up. Thanks for watching my video. And these are the original tires from the uh, brand new car that I purchased from the dealership. As you can see, the tires, they're still good. So we got some good treads on them. And this tire does not hold air anymore. It was damaged by a nail going through the sidewall. Not only one hole, it produced two when the tire gets mushed poke another hole so let me show you how to fix it instead of getting a new tire or even a used tire so this is a nail that i pull out from the tire it poke a hole between the treads and the sidewall right there so it's a tiny little hole at first i was thinking about removing the tire from the rim and patch it from the inside by looking at this tire right here this is an identical tire that i got it's too much work taking a tire off is hard i'm not professional i don't have the tools to grind down the uh the rubber just to patch it up this is the most simplest way to fix this flat tire right here you might have seen this before it is a tire plug kit so all you do is cut one in half and this is too big for the hole i'm gonna cut it and peel up a small strip to use to plug up the small hole. This piece I got here is a little old and dry, so it's easy to peel. We have a brand new piece. Um, it will be more sticky and it won't peel as easy. So it's nice to have an extra pair of hands to help you out. Have a couple of strands uh, available. You also need some uh, rubber cement and a couple of small tiny flat screwdrivers. Let's go ahead and remove all the air out of the tire. And the fastest way to get the air out is to remove the just chingadera from the uh, valve stem. I grind a little notch on the flat side of the screwdriver and use it as a tool to remove the, uh, the valve stem. I'm trying to keep the hole as small as possible. So all I'm doing is just adding glue and neatly and carefully push the, uh, the little plug into that hole to fill up so it won't leak. So take your time and you know, gently push the plug in there. So after trying for a few minutes, I discover uh, having an actual screwdriver come in handy. Not only it helps you from preventing your gloves from getting all sticky or contaminate the glue. Um, it helps by while you're using one screwdriver to push in the plug and you grab the other screwdriver to press onto it while you pull out that screwdriver. And this will help to keep the plug, you know, stay in because every time you pull it out, the uh, plug want to come out with it. Here you see me using the uh, second, well this is not a screwdriver, but it works just the same. See the ID just kicking a little down the road, but hey, at least I figured it out. See right now I can push everything down and keep it in place. It's a lot easier and a lot cleaner. The whole goal of this here is to push the plug in there to seal up the hole and the actual glue will help it keep it in place. Continue to add more glues to it. This way you'll fill up any void inside the hole and also help to lubricate while you're pushing the plug in there. I got most of the plug in the hole 
and I feel like you know this is pretty good and it probably will create a good seal so once I push everything in I went ahead and pull it out a little bit when you pull it it create like a little mushroom effect from the inside to help you seal the hole a lot better if you got a little time let the glue you know sit for like 30 minutes or so before you start airing it up once you air it up go ahead and check to see any leak and i didn't want to put any soapy water on this freshly sealed area so i went ahead and add a little glue in there if there's a hole in there it should bubble up and i do not see any bubbles and this air coming out so far it's a good seal Go ahead and cut off any excess. So far, beside me patching up the little tiny hole right here, I mean the integrity of tire should be pretty close to the factory, you know, specifications. And all I did is just plug up the hole. I went ahead and aired up the tire to uh, 30 PSI. And I'm gonna put the tire back onto the car and I'll check it tomorrow and see if I have any air leak. If it doesn't, I'll take it for a drive. The next day I came by and checked and the air did leak out. I thought the uh, the patch was bad and or maybe the valve stem is leaking, but neither of those were leaking. What happened when the uh, the nail went through the sidewall, the tire went flat enough where the nail poked another hole and I cut it. And I had a hard time finding that little tiny hole, but eventually I found it. I took another strand and plugged up that hole as well. Here's a closer look. They're both sealed up. And the car had driven for a couple weeks and still no leak. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. And don't let them tell you saying this is impossible to fix.